Like a garden snail leaves a trail behind A story snail leaves a tail behind Share our stories and you may find You can tell a story too Hello everyone! And welcome to another Snail Tales Assembly. And it looks like Amy's dressed up for this one, doesn't it? Why are you wearing such a, a green outfit? Well, every 21st of March, it's International Forest Day. That's when we learn about forests and celebrate how important they are for people and animals and the environment. Do you know what? That's a really good day for storytellers too, because forests are really, really important for storytellers all over the world. In fact, how about to celebrate the International Day of Forests, we tell our favourite forest story? Oh yes, that's a great idea. I'd love to tell our favourite forest story. Would you like to start then? Yes, all right. Well, once upon a time, in a deep, dark forest, there was a young man. And this young man had a sister. Wait, whose name no he didn't. Yeah, he did. I'm pretty sure he did. Well, if he did, it doesn't matter to the story. This mm -hmm. young man was a prince, and he was riding his white horse Wait, wait, through... wait, wait, wait. No, he wasn't. Yes, or he was. did he become a prince before or after his stepmother came along? His stepmother? Yeah, the stepmom. She's... Now, she is important in the story. We might be thinking about different stories. Yeah, I think we might well be. To be fair, there are quite a few fairy tales and stories that have forests in them, aren't there? So we could quite easily have ended up with completely different ideas of our favourite forest story. I've got an idea. Yeah. Why don't we try telling as many stories with forests in them as we can? Oh, and see how many you folks can count as we go along. Sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Shall right we give it a go? Then. Let's do it. All right. Through the forest where leafy trees rattle and rustle with every breeze and the shadows creep on the forest floor, a king is hunting a great white boar. He gallops to follow his faithful hound, but what has that barking and baying dog found? Not the white boar that the king was stalking, but a boy and girl who are carefully walking... Through the, the forest, forest where leafy trees rattle and rustle with every breeze. The boy drops crumbs along the track, leaving a trail that'll lead them back. But his clever plan will surely fail, for hungry birds are eating the trail. And as the children begin to cry, they turn a corner and suddenly spy... Through the forest where leafy trees rattle and rustle with every breeze. A girl who is wearing a scarlet hood is gathering flowers around the wood. But there in the shadows, unseen by the child, a wolf who is hairy and scary and wild is licking his lips and then loping ahead to a quaint little house where he hides in the bed. But... Through the, the forest, forest where leafy trees rattle and rustle with every breeze. A daddy and nanny and baby bear are on their way home. Who's hiding there? A princess. She hid from her stepmother queen. And there in the cottage she started to clean seven small chairs and seven small beds. Until, with an apple all rosy and red, Through the forest where leafy trees Rattle and rustle with every breeze, An old man searched for the perfect rose To give his daughter the gift she chose. But unknown to him, the rose he stole belonged to... A dragon? No, a beast. No, a troll. Through, Through the forest, forest where leafy trees rattle and, and rustle, rustle with every breeze. breeze. Her daughter is riding to rescue her dad. A prince asked the seven dwarves why they were sad. Three bears found Goldilocks sleeping in bed. A woodcutter hurried to find Little Red. A witch added sweets to her gingerbread door. And a king is still chasing a great white boar. Forests are places with magic inside, where stories live and fairy tales hide. If you don't believe me, 
Just come and see. Find a forest and walk with me. Through the forest where leafy trees rattle and rustle with with every breeze. Well, there you are. How many stories did you spot in that poem? I think I counted about four. Oh, I didn't think there was more than that. (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) Can you think of any more stories with forests in them? Maybe you can tell one of your very own. And if you do, why don't you write it down and send it to us? Yeah, that would be really great. And who knows, we might be able to use your story in one of our next assemblies. Right now, though, it only remains for us to say Happy Forest Day. And we hope to hear your story soon. So, Happy Forest Day. And we hope to hear your story soon. <laughs>